Hello ladies and gentlefish and welcome back to another Ray Aquatics YouTube video. In just a few days, I'm gonna be leaving the state for two weeks. And now I'll be explaining how my fish tanks are gonna be taken care of while I'm gone. <laughs> So yes, as I stated before, I will be leaving to go on vacation in a couple days. I'll be gone for two weeks and uh, well, I've got this massive fish room here. So you're probably wondering what's going to happen to these guys while I go. Well, to be frank, these guys will be perfectly fine. They're really not going to be needing much. I don't use any sort of vacation feeders or anything like that because uh, Vacation feeders, well, they just muck up the water and make your tanks dirtier. What I am going to be doing is obviously topping up all the tanks, doing water changes on some of the aquariums that may need it, like the 75 here, the cichlid tank over there. <clears throat> and uh, I'll be feeding them really heavily over the next day and a half before I leave to make sure that they're all full. And, uh, you know, that's really about it. Not much is really needed. I will be having someone probably feed the turtles and the cichlids once or twice while I'm gone. But other than that, most of these fish can easily go a couple weeks without really much, especially like the larger fish like the Oscars. If I give them a nice big meal before I leave, they should be fine with, uh, you know, minimal food. It sounds cruel, but to be honest with you, it's completely normal and it's completely fine. I just dropped my test strips. A big part and why I'm able to just, you know, leave my aquariums with minimal maintenance for a long period of time while I'm going on vacation, of course, has to do with my plants. Because as you know, the plants, well, they're a great filter. And, you know, they're going to be taking care of most of the fish waste while I'm gone, especially if there's little food while I'm gone. There'll be little waste. So, uh, you know, the plants will be taking care of that. However, in tanks like this, and tanks like this, mainly my ecosystem aquarium here, I do add like leaf litter and all sorts of little tiny creatures and stuff that live inside of the leaf litter and the detritus and all that. And it provides a natural food source for the fish. Like the molly in this tank, he just constantly goes throughout the leaves munching on the crap. And even with the mumbuna, when I have the plants in there and I don't feed them for a day, they eat the plants. They'll eat algae and even probably some of the java moss and stuff. So natural foods that are alive in your aquarium are another really good thing to have when going away for a long time. Because then it just provides more food for your fish while you're gone. You know, but for tanks like the 200 here that really doesn't have many plants... Any plants, not many plants. Well, I guess pothos. But uh, <clears throat> I will be doing a big feeding, testing the water. If there is a decent amount of nitrate, I will be doing one more water change before I leave just to make sure that water quality will be absolutely chilling while I'm away. These guys are looking beautiful. Similar thing to this tank here because, you know, the cichlids just like to eat plants just like those guys. If you notice... Oh, it's hard to notice now she's just throwing one, but look, she's holding. We've got a holding female. And to be honest with you, I'm just going to leave it. Because I've already got an entire clutch of them, clutch of uh, Nerii babies in here. What am I going to do with more? Unless you guys want them, you can have them. But uh, especially when I'm leaving, I'm just going to let them do their own thing. If they get eaten, they get eaten. If they live, they live. That's amazing. Most likely they'll just all be eaten. Hey, another source of food, as messed up as that may be. Right, right, right. But these are just the things you want to think about. It's really not that bad of a thing to be leaving your aquariums like this, especially when they're set up in ways where most of the nutrient export is done without water changes. So it's really just making sure that they don't kill each other or eat each other in, t in terms of the cichlids while I'm gone. Another good strategy in terms of just making sure that things go smoothly while I'm gone is basically taking some of these plants that have grown out of my aquarium, and this is hard to do with one hand, especially when I'm just using my finger, but trimming it. Oh my God, 
you just cut that plant. Why? Well, when you trim plants, especially the ones that take up a lot of nutrients like the immersed growth. So trimming some of the immersed growth like that actually technically is removing nitrate. Why? Well, because the plant leaves are mostly made of nitrogen. When you trim your plants, you're removing said nitrogen. And when the plants are taken up so much, like plants that are growing above the aquarium water line, essentially you're just doing a water change. So by trimming back some of these plants and allowing them to grow even more profusely while I'm gone, it's gonna be just another way that I ensure that my fish tanks will be thriving even without my presence here. Oh, quick update. Very happy that this happened. Surge is now ick free. This is amazing. Heat and salt, baby. Took a little longer than I expected, but he's doing absolutely fine now. Makes me happy because now I can go away in peace knowing that he's not covered in ick anymore. We're going to do a water change on this. Keep him chilling. Gonna be great. Gonna be great. I just wanted to make a short little update video telling you guys, you know, that I'm going to be leaving and how my fish are going to be taken care of. It's really not that big of a worry. I'll be making videos, of course, when I come back, showing you that everything has been perfectly fine, hunky-dory, as it were. Might even have uh, family friends come and video the fish, feed them while I'm gone, make sure that everything's okay, and post an update for you guys so you're not worried. But I am going to be going to Florida for two weeks. And I have a couple content ideas planned for while I'm down there. There is a marine park or an aquarium that I'm going to be doing a tour on. There's many different wildlife spots where there's wild aquarium plants, wild fish that we could, you know, stuff that we can film and make a cool adventure out of that. So uh, stay tuned for the exciting adventures to come here. I don't know exactly how the Florida stuff is going to be filmed if I film it and edit it when I'm down there or if I film it there edit it up here you guys will all see this on the channel when it's going this was just a quick quick and dirty video just kind of explaining that I'm going away my aquarium will be taken care of and there'll be a lot more fun aquatic adventures to come now for more housekeeping stuff recently I have a uh, gotten involved let's say with a, a burgeoning, a new up and coming online aquarium shop. It's rayaquaticproducts.com. And uh, it's a guy, it's funny because his name's Ray, my name's Ray, but he makes fish food as well as his whole mission is he'll take, you know, good aquarium items like sponge filters, fluval filters, canisters, all stuff that we would need as hobbyists, and he sells them on his site for the wholesale price. So he's got some of the cheapest prices for some of equipment that we use here in the hobby all the time as well as in collaboration with me he has given me a discount code to give to you guys to get 10 percent off any purchase on top of any sales that he's got going on right now i think there's a sale going on on his website right now so i'll be putting his link in the description of my video as well as all the videos future and past as well as that discount code it's ray q10 i'll put it here on the screen as well as it'll be down in the description for you guys to check that out rayaquaticproducts.com hopefully i'm saying that right that's great but uh that's my little channel update for you we got the new partnership going we're at 645 subscribers you guys are doing awesome keep doing what you're doing these videos they're really you know <laughs> they're not super top quality but they're definitely you know i guess you guys like them i'll keep making them right <laughs> but uh yeah that's basically it short little quick update video comment like share subscribe tell me what you want to see when i'm down in florida or if there's anything you want me to update you on specifically for the last few days that i'm here just let me know but other than that rayquatics out